What's up guys, Derek here with Jkong Systems. Today we're taking a look at RFID. Before us we have an EM18 reader module, that's this guy. And we have him plugged into a breadboard right here. We have a buzzer connected to the breadboard that makes a noise, that's this guy here, and an LED. And we have all of this connected to an Arduino Uno, and this guy here, and we're getting power from our computer. The RFID module can plug into the breadboard because it has 2.54 millimeter pins and when we look at the back of the module we see the PCB. Uh, this is different because some of the other RFID modules have silicone in here. Let's see if we can find one. For example this one. Different model has silicone in there. The distance that this RFID module can read is up to 100 millimeters, which is 4 inches. So when we take a token or we take a, a reader badge and scan it over, we actually have it set up so it's going to make a noise and the LED is going to light up, indicating that it has been read. So let's take a look at one of our tokens. We have a miniature little token here, it's the size of a nickel. So I'm going to go and set my nickel, set my nickel down, and I can take this guy and just scan him right over and it made a noise, and the LED lit up, letting us know that, hey, we're good. Now we have another another token here. This is actually about the size of a casino chip. And I believe that they do use RFID in casinos nowadays. A little bit bigger than a quarter. I'm gonna take this guy and just scan him right over. All right, we have a little bit larger token here. This token can be used for many different applications as they all can, but this guy's pretty big and he, he can be used in a backpack or something of that nature if you wanted to uh, put him in a backpack. Just scan him right over, and we're done. Alright, uh, we have reader cards. These are really popular in the workforce. They can easily be printed on. Um, these guys cannot, but you know you can get them to be printed on. Um, I actually used it for the parking pass. Scan it right over. We have these uh, keychains, which obviously, same principle, just slightly different format. And here's a different keychain. Now we have a couple of different RFID modules. One of them is this guy right here. The main difference uh, is the Basic distance that this guy can read, it can be read uh, up to 8 inches away. This is the ID20. When we take a look at the back of this, we notice that there's silicone and the pins are actually 2 millimeters. Uh, that's the pitch. So these can't actually go into a breadboard for prototyping. But we do have a PCB which this guy can mount right in pretty easily for prototyping. So I hope I've answered some of your questions about RFID and how these guys work. Uh, take a look at our tutorials page and we'll have that updated with some RFID uh, information there. We'll have some pictures and some code so you can take that code and modify it and make it your own. Well I hope I've been informational for you guys today and this is the part where I'm going to check out. So I hope you have a great day.